Hello, this is just going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to make and what you can do with the Anim Brush tool in TV Paint. To make an Anim Brush, all you have to do is to select the frames of your animation by clicking and dragging along the bottom. Click the cutting tool and select around your drawing. Click yes to the new box that appears and you're done. So I have three main uses for the Anim Brush. The first is for making texture brushes, the second is to repeat and transfer an animated character from one project to another, and finally the third is to store references and finished assets. For the example of making a textured brush, I've decided to make one that'll help me paint clouds as I haven't got one I like at the moment. I start off using one of my existing brushes and make circles that get a little bigger with each frame. I'm not bothered about being neat or delicate and I'm pretty happy with how it looks so I highlight the frames, cut around the animation using the cutting tool and click yes to turn it into an anim brush. Now if I draw with my new brush it already looks pretty good but it's not quite the cloud brush I want. However it's easy enough to play about with the settings and experiment until it is. Like any other brush you make in TV Paint you can alter the size, opacity and jitter in the toolbar and also change how each will react by clicking the little lettered boxes beside them. If you change the box beside opacity from constant to pressure, it will react more like traditional media and become darker if you press harder. I tend to use constant, pressure and random the most, though feel free to experiment and see which you like best. After I set jitter to random, it begins to look a lot more cloud-like. With an anim brush you'll notice that when you draw, the slider will move about from left to right and this is controlled by the menu here called anim. When I make a brush, anim is automatically set to loop and this means that when I draw, the brush will cycle through the frames. For my three uses of the anim brush, I use random, loop and none the most. For my cloud brush, I chose random which helps get a more natural feel when I'm painting and stops the clouds from looking too similar to one another. I'm pretty happy with my brush and as I want to save it I can do so by adding it to a new or one of my existing custom panels. To make a new custom panel of your own, go to custom panels, new custom panel, right click on the box that appears and select grab tool. For the example of making an anim brush from a character, I animated a chicken moving his head. I want to take him into a different project with a background and play about with his positioning. So same process as before, highlight the frames, cut out the animation, click yes. I leave the anim option set to loop as I want him to cycle through the frames with each click of my pen. Moving on to my other project with a rough background, I can very quickly start laying down the characters on new layers which I set to loop. Some helpful shortcuts to keep in mind if you haven't changed them in shortcut menu already are Z to scale up or down your brush, X to flip horizontally, Y to flip vertically, and C to rotate your brush. For another test, I animated a different character and made them into an anim brush, which I then kept on loop, and lay down the frames in a different path to make it look like they were flying. Now my third use for the anim brush is using it to save references and assets. Like my lip sync tutorial where I talk about drawing mouths and saving each to a separate brush, you can save all your mouth shapes to a single anim brush. Making sure the anim option is set to none, I can then use the slider to select the mouth shape I want. But mouth shapes are not the only thing you can save to an anim brush. You could do leg positions for a basic run or walk cycle so you don't have to draw out the roughs whenever you want to make a new one. You could store a character turnaround, head, eye and hand shapes poses and expressions for various different characters. You can make literally anything into an anim brush and save it to a custom panel for later. So I hope you can see just a few of the ways that anim brush can be used in TV Paint and what a really useful tool it is. If you found this tutorial helpful, give this video a like, comment down below for any questions and subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, I'll be back with another video real soon.